Well, I, I was hoping um, that we would continue moving forward after a good two weeks. Uh, I know we didn't get wins, but we played against really, really good teams and, and battled them and played them till, you know, till the end. Um, we came back and on Wednesday and Thursday, it just did not have, or I'm sorry, Thursday, Friday did not have very good practices. And I, it was the first time maybe in, uh, I don't even know when to be honest, maybe way back early, um, you know, that we didn't have the energy and the, the, that we needed and the motion that you need to, to prepare. And I, I, I warned them on uh, Thursday, uh, Friday, obviously got an early game. We, we didn't do much, but uh, I, I just, again, it goes back. Your, your dad tells you how you practice, how you play. And that's how we, we came out kind of listless. Um, I, I, I'm sure some guys have, uh, are tired. Uh, they, I, I thought it was the first time I, you know, Nigel probably has, he's like the little energizer bunny seems to go and go, but I thought he, he really hit a, he maybe hit a little bit of a wall to his credit. He came back in the second half and got some energy and then probably we had to get him out there. He just, uh, it, it's hard. It's, it's been a long, hard season, long, hard stretch. Um, they battled, they, and, and then, you know, to our guys credit, they got it to 20. We cut it back to four. Um, now, now Cade Cunningham, you know, big three, uh, good pass for a lob, little pull up, maybe another pass for a layup, but, uh, you know, we, we kept hanging in there and battling. I thought our offense was in the second half was what um, it, it's been the last few weeks. Obviously, the first half, it was it was not a thing of perfection. Although, I, I and I don't have it in front of me, but our coaches thought we had seven shots at the, at the basket in the first half that we didn't finish. I know we missed some free throws. Uh, we were 0 for 8 from 3, and some of those were wide open. Um, and we just didn't make enough plays uh, that that made it that uh, would have kept us in there. Obviously, it would have been nice to keep it around ten. Now you make the comeback, and maybe the game's a little different. But we just didn't have anything in that tank, uh, and we just didn't make the plays that that we needed. Got to give Tony Antonio a lot of credit. I've talked on, with you guys. I've talked how he's taking on that role, and he's he's playing his butt off. Double, double, 15 and 14. Obviously, I'd like him to finish a little more around the hoop and, and some shots, but I can't say enough about his effort. I thought when we got the ball inside, we were pretty effective. Uh, Davion, five for nine. Casey, four for five. Part of the problem early, we had talked about going inside. We didn't. We couldn't make passes, and uh, we couldn't get into offense. And that, that, that was... Uh, you know, part of it, and then and they missed a couple easy ones in the, in the first half that you hope they finish. Thank you, Coach. And we'll go to questions. Questions for Coach Weber. First one to Kellis Robinette. You put a finger on why uh, the practices weren't weren't great. Were they tired, or was it something else? I just think uh, you know it's been a long season, and they've been great. They, I, I tell you, practice, and I and I'm not just saying this just to tell you guys stories because I you, you know I usually say what's what's on my mind. Um, you know, they I think it was the first time in a long time, and it wasn't that they didn't try. They just had no energy. They had no emotion, and you know, I, maybe just those games. Those hard-fought games, it finally just took a toll on, on our guys. And um, you've lost 12 in a row now. It's a long time without a win. Is there anything you want to say to fans who are maybe just getting frustrated by things right now? I just say, you know, hey, our guys have made improvement. They keep battling. They don't quit. Even today, when you get down 20, they don't quit. Gave, you know, gave us a chance. Um, it, obviously, we're frustrated. Um, they want to do well. Um, just all I can do is worry about our guys. That's all I can do is help them and, and hope they keep making some progress and find a way to get some wins here down the stretch. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, did Oklahoma State throw a few jump defenses at you? Um, to, to be honest, they just did what they always do. They, 
you know, they, I thought they were up their line, which they've done all the time. We didn't, we didn't do a very good job of making the right reads uh, early. Um, you know, it seemed like we were on our heels and they were on their toes uh, to start and they got some, we had some turnovers and I think they had 12 points off turnovers at halftime. Um, and then, uh, you know, they, they played their little 2-2-1, two, two, uh, you know, and back to their, and they, and they mixed in some zone. They just, they did the same thing they've done all year. Um, you know, it, at times we were pretty good executing, at other times we were not. Um, you know, we had, I thought when we, when they went zone, we got it high post. Uh, we had some pretty good opportunities. A couple of them, we just didn't finish. They were overplaying some passing lanes. Was it frustrating? To I mean, yeah, it? that's, you know, that's how they always play. And, and they, they get up their line and they, they cheat screens over the top. Uh, and we just didn't take the ball and play strong and get it to the guy in the shoot. And, and then sometimes we got it to the shooter and, and he just didn't, he didn't make the shots. Were there some halftime adjustments or did you just find some energy early in the second half? I think they just, you know, obviously we, we, I hate to put pressure on Nigel. We need Nigel to make plays and to make shots. Then everyone can play off that. I thought our execution was better. Our ball movement was better. Um, you know, and then we were pretty solid on defense in the second half. Actually, the first half, the defense, and you might, it, it wasn't that bad, to be honest. Their percentage was in the 30s. I think three point in the 20s. Uh, but, you know, we just gave them too many, those second chance and those points on turnovers at halftime were, were big difference makers. Is Antonio Gordon a vocal guy? And you feel like he's picked up some of Deshaun's uh, things that he does? I don't, he's, I wouldn't say he's vocal, uh, but he has played his butt off. And, and again, I can't, can't say enough about what he's done, figuring out that role and, and really stepping up. And that, you know, that's without, I've said it before, without spring, without summer, without a fall, um, he's been able to uh, now give himself a, a, a nice niche in our, in our, in our program. And, um, you know, I'm happy now, obviously I'd like him to, you know, use this. I told him the other day, now I want him, you know, if you get in the weight room, um, you know, get in that gym and work on that shot and take your whole game to another level. And I know it's just been one day, but, but any uh, more progress on Dejuan for next Dejuan week? Dejuan got in shooting yesterday, got running a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I, he's got to get in practice. I don't know if Luke will let him back in practice on Monday or not. Uh, I would expect we do some kind of workout with him and treatment tomorrow and then see where he's at and then see if we can get him in, in practice on Monday. Thank you, Bruce. Next question to Kelly Robinette. One more for you, Bruce. Uh, looking ahead, is it a good or bad thing that the KU game got pushed back a day? I think right now, um, I think it's a great thing for us because we need a, a day of rest and we need a mental day, uh, you know, physical and mental day, uh, and then, you know, come back and hopefully have a great focus practice uh, that, you know, and then just come with a little bounce in our step. Uh, obviously, they're, they're, they, they played really well at home. Uh, you know, I thought we grinded with them at times. Obviously, they had one, we had one bad stretch in the first half, end of the first half, and then one in the second half. Now can we eliminate those and be a little more focused, a little more sound, and see if uh, we can fight our way into a win. It's going to take a, a good effort. It's going to take everybody ready to go and doing what we do and, that, and the right attitude about, hey, I got to find a way to help the team. All right, thanks. Travel safe. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, coaches, having a couple of bad practices, but still, you know, playing the game tough enough to only lose by seven in Stillwater give you hope to maybe? maybe uh, you know, the, the second half, I, I, I didn't know what was going to happen at halftime, to be honest. And I think they scored the first couple of the second half. Um, and, you know, but again, our, you know, our guys, um, can't their resilience and uh, you know it's, I can't say enough about it. And obviously, I'd like them to be rewarded and find a way to get some wins here down the stretch. But we're going to have to do it. We can't. Uh, you know, I, you know, you you battle back from twenty and cut it to four, and and actually play pretty good good basketball. And then we still miss. We missed a little layup. Nigel had a little layup. Maybe maybe the easiest shot of the day. Uh, Davion had a little one. Um, you know, we just those are the ones we got to we got to finish to give us a chance. But 
again, I, you know, I could be negative. I don't, I don't know what good it does. This is a, this is a hard enough year <laughs> to, to deal with what they've had to deal with. Uh, you guys have no idea. And you guys, you know, I, I can't even explain it. And, and to, again, credit to them to keep fighting. We got 20 some games. I, I watched somebody last night, they had 10 games. So our, you know, some some of that our guys got to get some credit for. Obviously, we want to win. That's why we're here. But they they have been resilient. We had a there was two points in the game. We had four freshmen on the court, and we were playing our butts off and doing good things. So, uh, you know, again, you got to give got to give the guys some credit. And even Mike McGurl, Antonio, the older guys that have been there, uh, give them some credit for their leadership and their effort and keeping us focused and and at, at least. Um, you know, we could easily have gone the other way, and it didn't, and uh, credit to them.